So these are not bull snake eggs. They are instead hognose eggs that are due to hatch soon. I just wanted to show you this. You can see the baby in there. You can see this, oh my gosh. Oh, he just moved. I just pointed out another one. Look, you can see this baby too. Hi, little baby. Guys, I'm so excited. We have hognose babies. They're hatching right now. I can't wait to see them. We are going to, since it's been about 24 hours since they started pipping, we're gonna cut open a little window on top of the rest in case they're having troubles coming out. And then we get to see what morphs they are because check out their parents. Okay, so I'll show you the potential dads in a second. This is mom. She is a conda morph, which means she has fewer but larger spots down her back. And condas typically have an all black belly, but she does not. She has some speckling on her, but she is still a conda morph. And that is a co-dominant trait. So that means the conda gene will be passed to about 50% of her offspring. Now we paired her to both this normal hognose snake. His name is Lumpy. He's actually a good rep good way to show you in case you don't know what the condomorph is. See the difference in their patterns? She has a lot fewer spots than he does. Well, we paired him with her. We definitely saw them lock up. But we also paired, just for funsies, we paired her with another conda male, and he has kind of a, more of a complete black belly. And this guy, I didn't visually see him lock up with her, but he showed a lot of interest. So there's a possibility that these babies, could they could be either one of theirs, actually. So we won't know until we see the babies. What we're looking for are any super conda babies, because if you breed together, two conda hognose snakes, then about a quarter of their babies will be super condos, which means they don't have any spots at all. If this is the guy who got the deed done, then about 25% of their babies should be super condos. But if there are no super condos at all, and about 50% of the babies are condos like her, because about 50% of her offspring will be condos just like she is, then that means the normal here will be the dad. If this doesn't make any sense at all, I suggest you watch our intro to snake genetics video right here. We use the the condomorph as an example of the codominant trait. So maybe watch that first and then come back and then you'll kind of know what's going on. I'm gonna set the parents aside and they of course don't live in these bins. I just put them in here to bring them down to show you. And then let's take a look at these babies and figure out who's the daddy. Inside we have, oh my gosh, they're so cute. So this morning, these guys started hatching. We actually got some pretty cool footage of one of the babies poking his head out of the egg. And it looks like now uh, there's four that have pipped. That is so cute. So yesterday I took a clip that was at the beginning of this video where I took my finger and I kind of touched this egg and this egg and we could see the move on the inside. Well. Interestingly, these two are the first ones to pip the following morning. Now when snakes hatch in a clutch, babies will slither over unhatched eggs and that sensation from inside of the shell will stimulate babies and like it'll tell them it's time to hatch because their siblings are already out. So I'm wondering if maybe our finger just kind of touching the egg maybe stimulated some hatching behavior? I don't know. Probably not, it's probably just a coincidence, but I thought it was kind of something interesting to mention. But let's take a look at what we've got inside. We have, oh, you can actually see the babies through the shell. Look, do you guys see all of the spots on the side? That's definitely a normal hognose snake if it has that many spots, so I don't even have to open that one up. But the others I can't see quite as well. Okay, there's one more that I can kind of see on the inside. It's this little guy right here. See all this darkness? That's his belly. So I think that might be a conda because of how black his belly is. As much as I want to open him up more to find out, we're going to leave him alone and just see what he looks like when he comes out of the egg. And let's see, let's start here. Let's see what we've got going on on the inside of this little egg. Now all of that fluid is normal. It cushions the baby actually and keeps them hydrated during incubation. What is inside? Do we have a conda, a normal, or a super conda? I see spots. It's not a super. Looks like a normal to me. I don't know. I see big spots. Oh, never mind. That does look like a. That's a conda. Conda. That's, yeah, that's totally, totally a conda. conda. No, 
eyes. Okay, so we have an anacondamorph. See the reduced pattern? That's definitely an anacondamorph. This guy wants to come out and say hi, I guess. Hi, cutie. Are you getting jealous that the attention isn't on you? Well, I'm sorry. By the way, they have the cutest little buck teeth it looks like right now because they still have their little egg tooth on the front of their little mouths. That's what they use to slice the egg open from the inside, actually. So we have a normal, I think a conda, a conda right there. What's in here? Oh, it's really dark in there. And by the way, the red is not that I cut the baby. There are veins that run along the inside of the shell, so that's normal. So that one, I can't really tell what's in there. There's definitely a baby, but I don't know which one it is or what kind it is. Pick that back up for a second. Like that? Yep, that is a normal. Oh, yep, look at the pattern right down there. Yep, yep. definitely a normal. Alrighty. Don't oh, please. this one's a conda. Look, you can see his pattern through the shell right there. Oh uh, yeah. That's definitely a conda. Nice. Okay, cool. This little guy has just the side of his face out. Oh, it's super cute. Well, he is a normal. That looks like a normal. Man, I kind of like these clear eggshells. Makes it really uh, easy. We have four eggs left. Let's do this big egg. What's inside? So far, it's looking like the normal male was the dad, because I don't see any supers. And it's about 50-50. Yep, about 50-50. I think that's a conda. Okay. There's big spots in the middle there. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. There. There, yeah, definitely. A, yeah, that's a conda. That's gonna be a really pretty mm. conda. All right, okay, last three eggs. That's another yep. conda. Nice, okay, oh yeah, I can see it right there through the egg. Yep. Ah, cool, okay, two eggs left. What's in here? I see pattern. I see pattern, that's a normal. That's a normal. That's yep. a normal, nice, okay. Last egg, what's in here? Inside we have uh, a normal. conda? This is a beautiful conda. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, I love those spots. Oh, and he's responding too. Look. There you go. Aww. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, you come out when you're ready. Oh, he just popped his head out. <laughs> that is so cute. Get okay, his first out. breath of air. All right, so Aww. what's the tally? Four normals and six condas in this clutch. That's so awesome. Just about 50 50. Yeah. I and mean, then one, sh one egg shy. So I'm guessing the normal's the dad. So that means Lumpy is the father. You're the dad, most likely, unless we had bad odds with the conda being the dad. But I'm assuming that he is the father. Especially with awesome. that many normals. Yeah, I that's true. That many normals. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, only a quarter, like two of them would be normals yeah. if he was the father. Yeah, so this is definitely the dad. Good job, Lumpy, you got the job done. Okay, so they are obviously not quite ready to come out yet, so we are going to put these little cuties back into the incubator and let them come out on their own, and we'll check back in a few days when they're out. All the babies are out! We put them in here just temporarily so they'd have a little more space to slither around while we waited for all of their siblings in the clutch to hatch. But now that they're all out, let's see what we've got! Let's see. Babies! Oh, wow, you have a crazy busy pattern. Look at this little guy. Wow, he has a really busy pattern. You are beautiful. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, ooh, that's a girl. Look at that short little tail. Hi, cutie. What else do we have in here? Whoa, look at all of those. Here's one of the condas. Look at that beautiful reduced pattern. Kind of a sporadic random pattern too. That's kind of cool. Are you flattening out? You think you're big and scary. How's your belly? Condas typically have an all black belly. Oh, that's a beautiful conda belly. Nice white walls along the sides <laughs> too. How flat his face is. Yeah, look at you. Little pancake snake. Are you flattening out? Oh, you are so angry right now. Okay, you're full of salt. Here's another beautiful little normal, kind of more of a brown color, like a lighter color than this little guy. Wow. Two normals. Yeah, just two normals. This just shows you how much variation there is in just the normal wild type morph. There's a lot of people who will see something like this and they'll be like, this one's a morph, this one's a pastel. But really, they're just normals. I'm gonna put the babies under this paper towel when I'm done with them because they just want to hide anyway. We also have Looks like this is another conda. This is a beautiful little snake. How's your belly? A nice black belly, solid black belly. Wow, look at that. We have another conda. This one's kind of that brown color. More space in between each spot, really pretty. Another conda morph. Ooh, this one has like smaller, rounder spots. This one definitely has a Mickey Mouse on its, oh wow, look, one, two, three Mickey Mouse heads down yeah. its back. That's kind of cool. Nice. You're Walt. Walt, well, is it a boy? 
It is a boy. Okay, yep, your name is Walt. <laughs> I love it, good idea. Then look at this condomorph, whoa! I really like the pattern on this guy. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of neat how it fades down the sides. But my absolute favorite baby from this entire clutch is right over here. Look at this Conda baby. Look at those spots. They like fade down his sides. I, oh. It's a really dark head too. Yeah, as soon as this one hatched, it immediately caught my eye. This might be one that we like hold back for a little bit. Just look at those spots. You're like, you're like a little cheetah. Cheetah spotted hognose snake. Is it a male or a female? Oh, are you? Um, I would guess a female, but I'm, because of how quickly that tapers. But I'm not sure. How's your belly? Solid black? What? You are a beautiful conda. Sorry guys, I might be keeping this one. I don't know yet. Even though it's not a morph, the conda pattern here, or I mean the, sorry, the normal pattern is just so cool in of itself. I mean, really, you can't beat that wild type. Although I really do like that conda. All right, well now that they're all out, they look great. Let's put them in their baby bins. For their baby bins, we just have something kind of a smaller, simple setup for them. This is actually quite big for a baby hatchling hognose snake. We have caves in the back, because this back here will be the heated side. We have a, a magnolia leaf just for them to hide under, and these are pretty resistant to mold. Not that there'd be any humidity in here, but we use them for other things, so we had them on hand. A rock to brush up against to shed, because that's pretty smooth, that's pretty smooth, the plastic bin is pretty smooth. They need something rough to shed, so we've got those. We also have water dishes, of course, and I really like this one because look, it doubles as a hide. There's like uh, an entrance right there. I need more of those, but let's put them in. We'll put a little condo right in here. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna sit right here and not move. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move this conda, my favorite conda, over here. Where are you gonna go? <gasps> There's a cave, right? Yep, yep, I knew you'd go in that cave. Ha! <laughs> Snakes are so predictable. And then we will do the rest of these babies. Like I have, we've got all these little bins set up, but we'll do the rest off camera because it's just going to be the same thing. Oh, this guy is so angry. He's super flattened out, or he was. Look at that. Oh, so angry. The cheeks are out. The tail is curled. Oh, this is Walt. Look, he's got the Mickey Mouses. Yep. Walt, it's okay. It's just a person. It's okay. You'll get used to us. <laughs> inch, 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 inch. Here comes the hog nose choo choo <laughs> train. Choo 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 choo. Look at him. I love how hog noses move. I like how determined he looks, too. <laughs> that little groove, though, on the side is like the perfect size yeah. for him. He's slowly going out of camera. Meanwhile, this one hasn't moved an inch. Yeah. His tongue is what? frozen. Yeah. Did you forget to pull your tongue in? <laughs> I thought the camera stopped working there for nope, a minute. Nope. Nope. That was just him. Oh, he must have went the wrong way. He's oh, turning around. Turning around. <laughs> I love hog noses. Oh, his tongue is stuck again. He just likes to stick his tongue out for a long time. There's a handful of snakes I know that do that. I think he's doing it because he's upset. I've noticed snakes <laughs> that are angry will do that. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a fruit roll up. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Blah. We can get a really good tongue Blah. shot with him. You know how hard it is to get pictures of them with their tongue out? He'd be really yeah, easy. Yeah, he'd be easy, easy to do. I might do that. It'll make it look like, oh, you took the picture at the perfect time. <laughs> I like how fast he takes it in. Yeah. All right, we're gonna set the rest of these babies up because we're not distracted at all by their cuteness. And I'd like to just thank everybody for watching today's video of these super cute baby hognose snakes hatching. I will, I do have to say though that all of them are claimed. Our waiting lists are full, unfortunately. So I'm so sorry. Maybe if you're interested in one, you can check back next year. Man, look at these condas. I love them. But what we'll do with them now is hognoses can be notoriously picky eaters. So instead of just feeding them one meal, like with our bull snakes, we're, they're pretty much good to go after just one or two meals. The hog noses here, they'll have to prove to us that they can eat unscented frozen thawed mice for at least three meals, hopefully in a row, before they go to their new homes. So they'll be with us for a little while yet, but then, before we know it, they'll be off with their new owners. As always, we'd like to thank our amazing Patreon backers for supporting this channel. We so appreciate your generosity. And thank you everyone for watching today's video once again, and we'll see you next time.